You want to get cut, do you? <laughs> ah, yes, perfection. Skin to the bone. Looking fine. It is the season where the majority of you, I'm not going to say us because I fully intend to engorge myself in an early grave this year. But for the vast majority of folks, they're currently prepping for shows, sexy photo shoots, or perhaps cutting for their holidays. I uploaded a video recently regarding the mistakes natties may be making and received a comment asking questions on the subject, so here it is. Before we get into it, please don't forget to like and subscribe and blah 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 blah. Thank you and let's get to it. First off, what is the difference between cutting and bulking? You'll obviously know this in its most basic elements. Cutting is the process in which the user <laughs> Use I sound so damn professional and commercial at times. User of the method restricts his or herself, <laughs> his or herself, so damn inclusive, they them also, restricts his, her, they themselves below maintenance calories in order to lose body weight to condition themselves for a greater defined muscular look. Easy. Bulking is the process where the user just gets fat. Obviously a lot more specifics and important details for bulking, but this video isn't about that. So let's look at the comparison difference between bulking and cutting, and what will be changed in your diet and training with both. Bulking, your calories will be above maintenance levels. I assume at least an increase of two to 400. Cutting phase, starting off, your calories will be 150 to 250, let's say, under maintenance. Keep in mind though, this number does need to be constantly re-evaluated and to keep coming down for continued weight loss and progress. Bulking? Your training methods are centered around strength, but also mixes of volume, because while in a calorie surplus, you should be able to handle the extra workload and recovery demands with the increased food. And with cutting, strength hypertrophy sets should be prioritized and warm up some volume sets used sparingly, i.e. remove junk volume. The bulking phase key is to build muscle, cutting phase is to spur muscle. Now, right, that is important, try to remember that. Again, the bulking phase is the key is to build muscle, the cutting phase is to spur muscle. Remember that. When it comes to your cardio approach, in bulking it is limited, where in cutting it is elevated and increased. Okay, so they're the basics. This is roughly the approach. Now, of course, I'm not specifying the reason the person's cutting in here. If it's stage prep, then these will be more intensified, but it's a good starting point. All right, so let's look at the nutrition side of things. First, you need to be in a caloric deficit. What? The quality in which you derive your nutrition values and macros from need to be from real quality sources. Each macronutrient plays an important role from the minute you wake up to the minute you go to bed. Starting your day off in the morning right with a form of slow digestion carbs, a simple protein you can break down, and perhaps entering some fats into your diet with a second breakfast or lunch, for example, should give you a good footnote. Remember, each micronutrient is important. If you are resistance training, which I'll go ahead and assume you all are, carbohydrates are probably going to be the most effective thing here. Potentially have your carbohydrates sitting higher than your protein values perhaps, although protein does need to be at a decent average value still. Both of these are going to ensure your sparring muscle as much as you can. When you cut, your body is not discriminating where the weight is dropping off from. So you will lose muscle in this process. So ensure you're still taking simple sugars slash carbs for your muscles to use this fuel source opposed to using protein cells and ensure your protein amino levels are sufficient enough to hold on to as much muscle as you can. Now let's discuss training. You need to make sure your approach to this is correct. Training and nutrition are both equal in my eyes. It's 50-50. Balls to that quote of, it's 90% kitchen, 10% training. Load of shit. If you want my advice, take off any high volume warm-up sets that usually train close to failure. Give full focus and save your reserves for that final working set. Heavy sets that are performed around six to 10 reps, for example. This may look like performing two to four warm-ups first with very low reps to save yourself. Now, if you still feel you can perform more after going to failure on your working, throw in a drop back set, take 10, that's taking 10 or 20% off the working set weight, and that should allow you to perform extra failure in a low rep fashion still. Again, you'll have to log with this each day to make sure you're recovering okay from it. So, conclusion. You need to be lifting heavy and focus on strength. Do not fall into the mistakes people make of thinking, I'm cutting, better drop the weights and do pump sets. Your body right now is in a deficit mode. It's needing to drop weight from your body due to the lowering access of fuel and energy levels. If it doesn't have any need or requirement to hold onto your muscle, it will drop it without a moment's hesitation. Ensure you're giving it a reason to spur your muscles, continuing exposure to heavy training. Okay, so we have all that information there, but I have a question for you before we end. Do you really need to be cutting right now? 
And I mean, do you really need to be? What is your purpose? Ask yourself this question. If you're someone well developed moving into a bodybuilding show or wants to do a photo shoot, sure, that makes sense. However, if you're someone that feels they're still not fully developed muscular wise and feels that they just need to cut because, well, others do it in the summer, this might not be a good idea. You see, if you rotate this process each year, round and round, your ability to grow larger is inhibited. Each phase of cutting, you're losing a certain percentage of muscle. You can't do anything about that. You can lower the amount lost, but you're still gonna lose it. And then after coming out of cutting back into bulking, you're trying to put that back on again, then a little extra. My advice, especially for younger people out there that's not as developed, stay for years in a safe enough caloric surplus. Keep building and enjoy the process. Anyway, my final conclusion here and summary. Nutrition. Calorie deficit derived from quality sources. Carbs should remain high as to proteins and fats 20% or so of your total calories. Roughly, this is a ballpark figure. Training. Focus on your heavy working sets only. Drop any vast amounts of volume you're doing. Although if you can recover from some volume, keep these in your program. Cardio. Avoid any high intense cardio sessions. Steady state cardio sessions will be your best friend. You can recover much easier from these and they're much more manageable. All right, so that's my advice for people cutting and dating. Again, if you do like the video, please do like and subscribe because I do put a ton of these out. And please comment in the section below any other questions you may have in the subject or if you're currently cutting or prepping for a show, photo shoot, or just look good sexy in the beach this year. Anyway, my name is Carl from the York's Den. As usual, have a great night. <laughs>